Welcome to Mustang Sports Network On Demand. Paul Taylor now being joined by women's ice hockey head coach Tracy Johnson looking back at the Mustangs weekend sweep of Chatham and ahead to Wednesday night's matchup in Adrian against the number four team in the nation. Coach, as you look back at Chatham over the weekend, back to back one nothing wins over the six periods plus 42 seconds, about the last four or so really felt like Mustang hockey the game Sunday. You guys won one to nothing, but it felt more like Mustang hockey, as you like to say. It definitely did. You know, we were making smarter decisions with the puck, quicker decisions with the puck, and uh, just, yeah, I agree with you. It definitely felt more like our game. Yeah, you had Sarah Mazaleski anchoring the net again. Another shutout, eighth career, fifth of the season. We talk about Sarah a lot, but it, so much more goes into a shutout. You have solid defense. You have you know off you know forwards that don't turn the puck over. It's a, it is a total team effort. Yeah, we did a much better job picking up sticks in front of the net, and that was you know our D staying D side in front of the opponents in front of the net. It's our forwards coming down wings helping out in the slot picking up sticks. So just better job with all that also. Now, as you look forward to Wednesday, a couple things to work on in practice. I'm assuming you're going to be looking again at that power play. Absolutely. You know, when we have that many opportunities, especially the five on three, uh, that we had two five on threes, you know, there really is no excuse to not use that and capitalize on that and bury the puck. So, uh, you know, I thought it was okay. We were creating some chances and getting some pucks to the net, but, you know, we really have to step that up because special teams are, are, are super important, especially in games like that when we have multiple opportunities to capitalize on. Um, we just, you know, bottom line is we have to capitalize. On the other hand, you guys were in the box six times tonight, and it's a, a few too many, I, I would guess you would, you would venture to say. Absolutely too many, and, you know, they're, they're the stick calls. Like, the, you know, we're behind the play a little bit. We don't keep our feet moving on the back check, and, you know, we, we get our stick up in their hands, or we take them down, we haul them down with our stick, and that's just completely unacceptable. You know, there's, there's aggression penalties where, you know, you're just going hard in the corner, and, you know, someone falls, and they give it to you, whatever, but, you know, the, the penalties that we took, we, we definitely cannot move forward with those types of penalties. You got the goal for Megan Alexander. You switched up the lines before the Nichols series, and you put Megan on a different line there. You get Savannah and Kellen that get assists there, so you, you get to see some some payback from that line switch. Definitely. We, wanna, we want to get to a point where we can count on any line to be productive, and I think Megan especially has, you know, the ability to make those around her better regardless on whatever line she's playing on, so it was, it was fun to see the entire line effort come together and uh, result in that goal. So all in all, as you look back at the at the past weekend, maybe not the A-plus games, but you get out of there with two wins. Yep, and, you know, that's important. The the wins are a win and definitely feel better about the, the second game on Sunday, and that's a, a good thing to, to take our momentum with going into the next set of games. You had Monday off, Tuesday you practicing, then you're busing up to Michigan. You guys had a long trip last year where you were on the road for a week and a half. A little bit, little bit of a similar story here, a little bit shorter, but this time you get the number four ranked team in the nation. So it's, I would argue, probably the biggest game in program history to this point. That will be a huge game for us, and uh, it, we are going to have to be able to execute our game plan to a T. And uh, I definitely think that our team is up for the challenge, and it, it was a good thing for us to get a couple of games under our belt before we get started with that. So you have practice on Tuesday, uh, and what's, what's going to be the big point of emphasis Tuesday? Is you going to do a little bit more conditioning? Are you going to lay off, or what, what's, what's the plan Tuesday? There's going to be a mix. I mean, I think we definitely need to get our feet under us, get our, get our feet moving, get some conditioning in, and, and, and really hammer back away at moving the puck fast and, and definitely the power play, special teams work. All right, Coach, we'll see you in Michigan on uh, Wednesday evening, 7 o'clock. The Mustangs take on Adrian, the number four ranked team in the nation. The Mustang Sports Network will have the call for you. Faceoff is at 7. We'll be on the air at 6 o'clock. For Coach Tracy, I'm Paul Taylor. This has been a Mustang Sports Network on demand, powered by SFMSports.net.